Well, a very warm good morning to you all, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the team at Ray White Forest Hill, my name's Hugh Francis. Today I will be your auctioneer. I'd like to thank each and every one of you for coming out today for what we hope to be a wonderful auction for our clients and a new chapter in one of the lives of the people standing in front of us today. The home that stands behind me, only three and a half years old, has been owner occupied since it's been built. A wonderful property that is on offer today. Your opportunity stands right behind me. Ladies and gentlemen, the auction today will take three parts. The first, the reading of the contracts. The second, a brief description of the home. And the third and final part, the fun part, where I hand it over to you for your competitive bidding. A little bit of housekeeping before we get things started today. We do have Helen, Lewis and Chris from the Ray White team in the crowd and they're certainly here to make sure that you don't miss anything in today's auction. So if you do decide to bid, they might come over and stand next to you just to make sure that you're completely up to speed with what's going on today. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, the particulars of sale read as follows. The Vendor's estate agent is Ray White Forest Hill, located at 27 and 29 Marnie's Road in Forest Hill. We are selling for and on behalf of our vendors the property described in the section 32 and the certificate of title as 11532 being lot 1 on Planner Subdivision 721011, better known to you and I as 10 Millgate Court here in Forest Hill. The settlement period that we're calling for today is 30 to 60 days unless prior arrangements have been made and cleared with our vendors before the beginning of today's auction. What we will expect is if you are the successful party today to follow us inside, we'll then complete three contracts. You'll obviously go home with one, we'll take a 10% deposit there and the remainder of money will be due at settlement in 30 to 60 days anytime in between there. The auction today will be conducted in accordance with the rules and any additional conditions that have been made available for inspection prior to the start of today's auction. The auction rules prohibit an auctioneer from accepting bids or offers on the property once it's been knocked down to the successful bidder. Just manoeuvring myself so the sun's not in my eyes for the next 15 minutes, so I thought that'd be a smart decision now. Ladies and gentlemen, the vendors do have a reserve price, I will indicate bidders upon request. The law prohibits false bids, major disruptions by bidders and bidders from attempting other bidders from bidding and does provide fines for this conduct. The rules do permit vendor bids. The words that I'll be using during the auction to indicate that I'm making a bid on behalf of our vendors are quite simply those two words, vendor bid, and only I as the auctioneer can make a bid on behalf of our clients. At this stage, are there any questions regarding the contracts or the property in its entirety? Fantastic, I'll take your silence as permission to move on forward then. I am trying to get through things fairly swiftly, but we have to take a moment to have a think about what is really on offer here today. This home, still under build a warranty, three and a half years old, has been built purposefully for owner occupying, not so much for a rental, so the fixtures and fittings have certainly been spec'd up, upgraded. It's gonna be a wonderful home for whichever lucky individual in the crowd is successful today. You're not just buying into the bricks and mortar that stand in front of us, but also the lifestyle that you will live if you're successful here today. I won't walk you through it, but <laughs> primary school's right at your fingertips. Forest Hill Chase going under an extreme upgrade lately and almost directly between Nunawading and Mitcham train stations for an easy commute to town with plenty of bus routes to get you there. Ladies and gentlemen, you will not be upset if you buy today. In 10 years time from now, I might be standing right here calling this auction on behalf of you and there's one thing I can promise you and that is that you will have made a lot of money. Property like this won't come up as often as you may like. I'd say if you're interested today, bid with strength. I wish you all, each and every one of you, the best of luck. The way in which we'll sell the property today will be first call, second call, third and final time and when the contract's may end like so, the property will then be sold and I can't take a late bid. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all from me now. I'd like to send it your way. Who'd like to start things off for a fair and reasonable bid and offer for 10 Millgate Court here in Forest Hill? Wherever you like. Happy to start things off at 7.30, even if you like. I'll start things off at 7.30, welcome in there, man. At 730,000 now, bid down the back. At 730, 750 from here if you like. 730,000 worth every penny, 750 from here. What do we say at 7.30 now? Need to bid to buy. 730,000, first call, second time now at 30. 
Third and final time at 730,000, obviously worth it. Move it along to 750 if we can at 730. Think about the opportunity that's ahead of us at 730,000. Now, bid down back, take in a 50. Bid with strength, be confident, take control of the auction, complete some contracts today, and buy this wonderful home. 750,000 is where we need to take it to from here at 30. Some people might say I'm going to sit back and relax and see what happens with the auction. One thing I can tell you is if we do hold things over on a vendor bid, it's an even playing field, ladies and gentlemen. If we do hold things over or pass in on your bid, you will reserve the right to negotiate first. Bid down the back at 30, let's take it to 50. You're welcome in the 50, take control at 7.30, 50, sir. Won't buy, but it's certainly going to put you in the best position to. At 7.30, otherwise all vendor bids are going to go up from here. You're welcome in 50. At 7.30 then, vendor bid at 50. 750,000 and welcome you back to 20 from here. 750,000 now, need to move along to 7.70. At 750,000 now, bidding 750. First time at three quarters of a million. Second time at 750,000. Welcome back if you like this there at 750. Take the lead to 70 at 750,000 worth every penny and more at 750. Second call. 70. 70. Welcome in there, man, and good luck today at 770,000. And 90 down the back, Chris. Need to get a bid. At 770 now, quick bid's a good bid. Show some strength. Take control at 770,000 now. Two horse race at 770. Not excluding anyone. At 770, first call at 70. 10. At 770, not yet. At 770, second call. Happy to take 10, split it down the middle. At 770, third and final time at 70. 80, welcome back there, ma'am, at 800 if you like. Let's go from 780 to 800, bid with strength. At 780, what do we say to 800? At 780,000 now, down the back. 780, 800. We know it's worth it. Entering into the lower end of our price range throughout the last four weeks, so there's certainly no confusion here, no mistakes or surprises. At 780,000 now, we're all done. Bid down the back. First call. 90. Sorry? 90. 90. Welcome in 800, man. Take control at 800. 790 now. We know it's worth it. At 790,000, need to move it into 800. At 790, first time. Comparable sales selling well in excess. Let's go for 10. Need to move it to 800 at this point. At 790,000 now, bid down the front. They hold control at 790. Need to move to 800. Can we do it this time? Move to 800. You know it's worth it. I know it's worth it. Previous conversations, all the facts say it is. At 790,000, you knew you weren't going to buy it for 790. So let's take control at 800. What do we say? Can we take six? I'll take 10. <laughs> at 790,000. Let's move it along to 10 and I'll be more forgiving on the next one. At 800, can I say, bid with you, take control. At 790, at 790. First, second, third time now, 